what's going on everybody we are at port canaveral once again and today we'll be getting on the wonder i know a lot of you are like but the wonder doesn't go out of port canaveral i know that's how y'all sound you're absolutely correct we are on another type of wonder i'm about to say some words that i thought i'd never say in my life we are about to cruise on Royal Caribbean, the Wonder of the Seas, Oasis class, the world's largest ship, everybody. As we were coming to the one that we passed the wish, and it was calling me. Come over here, Jew. We miss you. We miss you. I miss you back. <laughs> I'm looking for the wow factor, right? It needs to wow me today. I, I need mean, to be wowed. It is a wow huge ship. It's the largest ship in the world. Not only this universe, but alternate universes as well. <laughs> Ray and I just dropped off our luggage, which is strange. What I mean by that is, it's just different from what we're used to. We dropped off our luggage, we parked our car in a lot. And I'm walking from that lot to the ship right now. I wanna say this waiting room, it is humongous. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Almost the drill is at the Royal Theater. And so we're headed there right now. Actually, we just walk right into it. Oh wow, is this like a movie theater or? It looks like it. Maybe they do show. The security and check-in went really, really fast and so did the mustard drill. We were in and out. I think we mentioned that this is a two-night media slash travel agent cruise. We just picked up our media credentials. And so now we're headed towards our room, which is on the seventh floor. Boom. Is this us? Aw, little royal keys. I just walked in the room. So, first walk in, you got a full length mirror. Boom, you get to see yourself. Here's the bathroom, and you see this? You better watch your step. You need this to turn your lights on. Ooh, let there be light. You see, no shower curtain. We got a shower glass door. You got salt and breeze double duty body hair wash. For... Shampoo and body wash are the same? Hmm, that's news to me. Look, you got a removable shower head. There's a toilet and a sink. Note to self, bring lotion on other cruise ships. So you have a few shelves for your toiletries and I noticed that there is a plug up here. That's enough of the bathroom. Let's see what this is. Ah, we got a safe. They give you some hangers. Don't take the hangers, guys. They stay in the room. You got a couple drawers. Look at this little nightstand. Look how tiny. <laughs> on the lamp, you get a USB port and a regular plug. It's a king size bed. It looks nice and cozy, actually. Boom, more hangers, one more cabinet. You have two areas to hang up your clothes. You got a top and a bottom shelf. I don't see a lot of luggage space, so I'm thinking maybe you just slide it under the bed. They got extra sheets down there. Oh, that's where they keep them. <sighs> Forgot to mention, we got a TV. I'm just curious, what are these little things for? We got a beautiful mirror where you can do your hair, your makeup. You got a perfect desk to do your work. And they give you a couple extra ports over here to charge your cell phone or whatever you need to charge. Oh, there's that blow dryer. We got a refrigerator. Let's see. So we have some brochures. Oh, let's see. All right. Oh, I forgot. We got a balcony. Florida, it's hot. 
This balcony feels a lot more spacious than a previous cruise ship I was on. I didn't mention this earlier and I don't think Ray did either, but there's a Royal Caribbean app that you can download on your phone and it shows you all the restaurants, what kind of food the restaurants have, if they're open or not, if you have to pay for them. Make sure you download the Royal Caribbean app and then you can have a better idea of where to go, what's going on, etc., etc. in the cashmere sweater. I just met the young man who's gonna be taking care of our stateroom. His name is Ganesh, he's from Mumbai and I know he's gonna take really good care of us, right Ray? Mm -hmm. We're headed towards the boardwalk. We just found out a lovely young lady told us where to go because we're lost. This ship is massive. And like, when I say lost, I mean lost, lost. I'm just gonna trust my nose and see exactly where to go. Mmm, great smell that. Mmm, <laughs> it smells like I'm lost. Mmm. <laughs> So we're headed to the fourth floor right now. There's some media stuff going on. So we want to go check that out. So far, it's different. It's really different. It has a different vibe to it. Yeah. A totally yeah. different vibe to it. All right, guys, we're going to the Mason Jar. This is a specialty dining restaurant, and that means it comes with the price tag. As soon as I walked in, I got handed a Johnny Cake. This is something that is on their menu. It looks good. The dish is hot. One bite shot. Where'd it go? It was very loud in there, so hopefully you guys were able to hear with some of the foods that we did try. It was small samples of what's on their brunch menu. What I tried was actually really, really good. Their drinks, their drinks were very strong. Brunch is awesome, and it's only on sea days. They did say that. Ray and I are on the hunt for some food on the pool deck. Right now, it looks like everything's closed, right? It's really cool. You see anybody eating like some tacos, some fries, a burger, something. This ship might be so big that it looks like there's not a lot of people, but there is because it's spread out. But um, it really doesn't look like there's a lot of people on this sailing. Mm -hmm. There's three water slides in the background that I can see. There's like a little splash zone for the kids. What a baby water slide, two of them. The live band playing right now, so it's very, very uh, relaxing. It makes you feel like you're on vacation. I love the seating though. I love that there's so much open seating. However, if you don't like the sun, yeah. you're gonna be stuck unless you rent a one of these cabanas because there is no shade blocking these chairs at all. We're headed down to the boardwalk. There's gonna be a naming ceremony tonight. And so, I didn't know they never named this. I thought it was named The Wonder. <laughs> it's not? Like, how does that I, work? How's, this is The Wonder, right? Yeah. So they gonna name it something else? 
Ray just explained to me, they just never really had a name and ceremony. So tonight we're gonna do the name and ceremony. We came back to the room for a second because Rachel has to change. And we, uh, our bags are here. Ray, what time does the ship leave? It's gonna be like eight o'clock tonight because this is a media slash oh. travel agent. So not normally, it doesn't normally you leave at no, eight o'clock? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Ray's gonna change and then not, I'm not gonna let y'all watch that. We'll be right back. ships have been missing. I already know. What? How are you going to say the elephant? A chia elephant. <laughs> Throw some water on it. Let's see. I'm just saying, have you guys ever been on a ship that had a chia elephant on it? <laughs> I'm just saying. Have you? Have you? No. No. <laughs> Hello. 
Babar, how are you this evening? We are in the solarium. They're just passing out drinks. This could be a bad thing. I like the fact that you can come outside, but it's enclosed, but it still kind of feels like outside because they got the windows open and there's like a breeze rolling through here. So it's really nice. I'm loving the scenery. I'm loving the chairs. Nice. Got a hot tub. Like, this is cool. Right. Just when you think you've seen it all, there's a chia giraffe. <laughs> Chia giraffe, you know what? My cruise has been made. Chia giraffe and chia elephant have made my cruise complete. <laughs> and following my beautiful wife, I know for sure, I know for certain, if there's one thing I am positive about, she has no idea where she's going. So I am lost. First impressions, this looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's very, very open. They got we'll a little coffee bar over here. They oh. got a bread station over here. Ooh. I'm like, oh, yes. You want one? Ah, Jesus. Oh, wow. This is fancy. Hi. They have an Asian section, and then they have, like, stir fries. guys this is my sampler platter don't judge me they give you a lot of varieties so I didn't know what to get everything looked good so I was like oh let me get some salmon oh let me get this so this is a steak I'm gonna try it with the steak I'm gonna start off with the big thing first I love steak I'm a fan this is cooked a little bit under how I like it I don't like it pink it's not bad for what it is it's not awful at all it is good however Oh, it's cold now? I know you like your food room temperature. <laughs> no, this is because this is how you give it to me. If this was warm, it would be better. That's actually not bad salmon. Well, actually, I like that. There's a little bit of macaroni and cheese in the potatoes I just ate. Oh, okay. So I taste the macaroni, cheese, and potatoes together. Slam it. Well, eat the macaroni right there. That might be hot. The other lukewarm macaroni. <laughs> I can't stand it. Don't take my opinion. Try it for yourself. Everyone has different taste buds. Mm -hmm. And everybody likes their food at different temperatures. <laughs> I happen to like mine hot. It's 8.16 p.m. And the ship is finally sailing away, which is awesome. We are going to the main dining area. Well, we didn't just eat We a did snack. It. So if you think you just saw it just eat, those are lies. That's CGI. <laughs> that didn't happen. That's Hollywood magic. That, you didn't see us eat, but we're headed to the main dining room to see what we can eat. <laughs> And that's on the fifth floor, if you're wondering. Wow, I just found some magic. Come look over here. They have like a robot bartender. Look. Drink. I get to create my drink. So I scan my card, put my birth year in. I will not tell you guys that I'm only, I just made 21 yesterday. But I can create a drink. Let's just see what their signature drinks are. And let's just get something quick, because we're supposed to be eating dinner. Since I was at Universal yesterday, I'm gonna get the ET. Let's let's click it. Sprite. Let's add it to the cart. Drag drink production. There we go. I got the ET in the queue. Bionic bar, make me this drink special. He was shaking it up and he was stirring it up and Ooh, this is a good drink. It has a good melon flavor and it has um, the base is vodka. And E.T. is gonna have me phoning home tonight. <laughs> All right, let's go to in this room. Make sure you take your door and you close it because if not, it doesn't slam close. Just pull the clothes, okay guys? But we walked in the room and we got a towel animal and some free stuff. I guess a towel and 
a hat. <laughs> I brought a tree to feel festive. Right? That tree actually looks like it came from one Charles Bartholomew Brown. <laughs> you better leave my tree alone. Christmas time is here. <laughs> Listen, that is so Christmas cute. Christmas time is here. That tree needs something to eat. You guys, my little tree is so cute. That tree looks like Gollum. <laughs> Precious. <laughs> it's really going to be hard for us to tell you the real World Caribbean experience because this isn't it. But we did just have dinner at the main dining room. So and I can't front. Yo, that filet mignon I had was everything. I normally don't do berries and cherries and stuff inside of my desserts. But this, I'm not going to front. Like, this was probably one of the best desserts that I've had. I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting that. And I'm really impressed with how the food tastes. Our room is on deck seven. And so there's a lot of uh, choppiness going on with the, with the waves. You feel a lot of the ship going back and forth, right? <laughs> but the thing that's kind of creeping me out a little bit, kind of giving me Titanic vibes, <laughs> is you kind of hear like the doors creaking and stuff. Like <laughs> You kind of hear the wind. The creaking noise I heard specifically on the Titanic. <laughs> like towards the end. No, don't say that. Well, let me see if y'all can hear it. We had a whole bunch of fun tonight. Yes. We're gonna to go to Coco K tomorrow, which is gonna to be a whole bunch of fun, hopefully. Never been there before, so I'm not really sure how I'm automatically think it's gonna be a whole bunch of fun, <laughs> but it looks like it was gonna be a whole bunch of fun. This isn't the experience that we wanted to show you because this, again, is not what everybody's gonna go through. This is definitely yeah. a media type event. So we're just gonna show you our first impressions or what we think of the food or what we think of the island or what the rooms look like and how we feel about the rooms. Yeah, so it's we're, basically going to be that kind of We're vlog. giving a sampler. We, this is actually a sampler of what goes on on the Royal Caribbean cruise. Yeah. And it's only two days, right? So there's only so much that we can show you. This ship is gigantic. So, but so far, so good. All right. So we are going to actually call it a night. We are tired. We got up early and we are exhausted. We've walked a lot. So we're going to take a shower and go to bed and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!